The government is exploring the possibility of cash transfers should the number of COVID-19 patients rise to unmanageable levels leading to further restrictions. The National Emergency Fund Committee has already started identifying gaps in the battle against the virus that need filling, holding several meetings with the health CS. Here's Enoch Sikolia with more. The rise in infections is likely to throw the country into a spin. And with the curve still on an upward trend, the government is looking at the challenges COVID-19 poses. Key areas that could become problematic include health, security and food. On the health front, the country is already limping, especially on supply of equipment and resources needed in the frontline battle. There is a fear that some hospitals could run out of oxygen supply and ventilators should Kenya's trend follow what has happened in countries heavily affected by the supply of oxygen is no longer a concern. Narendra Raval, the chairman of Devic Group of Companies, is exploring ways to ensure supply of oxygen gas remains sufficient for treatment of COVID-19 patients across the country. And even if we give approximately 1,000 or 2,000 cylinders a day in all over the country, uh, that should be sufficient. That will cost us maybe 3 million shillings a day. So in a month, we will spend about 90 to 100 million shillings. But our intention is to continue until we get rid of this COVID-19 and we will do it free of charge. We don't want any charge to run the, to make the oxygen uh, and provide the oxygen to the Kenyan as far as it is saving the life of Kenyans. Most of the anxiety over respiratory treatment during the coronavirus pandemic has centered on a shortage of ventilators. But respiratory therapists rely on purified medical oxygen delivered to patients through ventilators. The virus attacks the lungs and makes it harder for patients to get enough oxygen into their bloodstream to support their kidneys, liver and heart. Of concern now is the shortage of ventilators in the country. Although I don't wish to go more than two, three hundred people, but if we go to thousand or two thousand people, we can manage. But if we go ten thousand and more like that, it will be very difficult to manage because we, we don't have the sufficient uh, a testing facility to test more than maybe four five hundred people a day while we have 50 million people hospitals in counties are also facing the challenge of having adequate supply of ppes and gloves for their health workers given the trend globally a sizable number of kenyans may end up in hospital owing to the coronavirus pandemic and that could leave each of the 47 counties requiring more than 50,000 PPEs to tackle the fast spreading viral disease. As the government looks for ways of boosting its ammunition against COVID-19, the National Emergency Fund Committee has set up mechanisms that will enable Kenyans gain some measure of relief from its war chest. Anoxicolia, Citizen TV.